Hey guys, it's Cardboard Bo Guy, and we're back with another video. I know I haven't uploaded for like, I don't know, months, but you know, I've been so busy. When I say busy, I mean busy. I've been so busy. Exactly, I've been homework stuff and this stuff and that stuff. Tell me, man. All right, and guys, I have something to tell you guys right All right, after. guys, this. What is this right here? I got a smart board, yes! It's a smart board, SB64, we got the pen tray, we got my projector mounted, and actually, we are gonna get a short throw projector up here. Actually, for I'm gonna get that for Christmas, but but well, uh, one thing that I like about this smart board is it has touch recognition. So you can pick up a pen, start writing, you can keep the pen in your hand and erase, and then keep the eraser in your hand and start writing again, and it'll know that you're gonna write again. So that's why I like this smart board. Even, this is the smallest smart board size, and it's 32 inches diagonal, di uh, down, and uh, what is it? Uh, 48 inches uh, diagonally. So this is what the smart board is. I'm gonna uh, switch over, and I'm gonna show you guys. Here is how my smart board, nice and turned on, with my computer, and here's my projector, shining nice except for when I wanna, you know, click on something. But before, when you first get a smart board, not saying that you will get a smart board, but if you do get a smart board, when you first get one, it's nice and you know, it works. You have the pen tray, you can start writing. But for some reason, when you, start, when you click somewhere, say, it's not where your hand is. You can see mine, my hand is right here and it's like over there. Like my hand's right here. As you can see, and it's not work, and it's not where, where my hand is. So to fix that, there's two buttons on the pen tray. One the mousey thing, and one the keyboard. You want to click on those both at the same time. And for some reason, if you don't have the pen tray, you can also look for the um, smart app right here. Click on it on your computer, and then click Orient. If you have the pen tray, then you just click on these two buttons at the same time, and it'll bring up this menu. So what you need to do is click on the dot as nice as, as nicely as you can, right in the middle. As you can see, it'll light up once you click it, and it'll, and you can just do this, keep doing it until it, it works. And just go down here. If you if you just do one little like mistake, it can throw up the throw off the whole smart board. So be careful. Am right there? Okay, good. And then. Okay, and down here, sorry, I'm blocking it with my camera. Okay, and then the top here. All right. And guys, if you're wondering where I got this smart board from, I got this smart board on eBay from a seller named Miyatuyo. M-I-O-Y-T-U-Y-O. -Y and I'll spell his name right now. Mi a tu yo That's where I got his name. So if you guys look this guy's name up in on eBay, you can look for a smart board that's 110 bucks. It doesn't include the pen tray, but it does have this whole smart board unit and it's really nice. Okay guys, I'll be back with you guys to show you guys how it right, guys. So if you've installed all the smart software and everything, they should give you a, so a software named Smart Notebook. The version doesn't matter, mine's 18.0 because I updated it. Sorry. And I have all the smart settings and everything, but if you don't have smart settings and everything, you need to download it. If you don't have any, yeah, if you don't have anything installed, it shouldn't be a solid green light. It should be blinking with a solid green light. But so I'm just telling you guys, if you don't have the software, you can't orient, you can't pick up the pens and write. You can just use your hands to control the computer. So just to keep that in mind, if you want to use a smart board or you're getting one. Just keep that in mind that it, you have to get it. And by the way, you also get a 45 day free trial. After that, you have to end up paying for something, for the trial. So just keep in mind that you may need to pay after a while. So you just open up the Smart Notebook software and you can start writing. I mean, yeah, it's simple as that. You can pick up any color in the pen tray and write with that color. If for some reason you don't have the pens, you have the pen tray, but you don't have the pens, you can just make you can just make your own pens if you wanted to. There's just sensors that track. If, so you can see there's a sensor that tracks where your if your pen's in or not. I could just put my finger there. Sorry, I could just put my finger there, and it would and it would uh it wouldn't uh show the color. 
So if I pick up a black pad, I could write in black. Sorry, my handwriting's horrible. So I need to go to like handwriting class. If I write in red, I can, then I can do stuff in red. I can, if I write in green, I can, I can, you know, <laughs> go. For some reason it does that sometimes. You just see on the pen tray, just knock it and go like that. So, and then it'll just do that. Okay. And you wanna go write green, green, and then you'll write, be able to write in green, put the pen down, and then write in blue. Blue, I was about to say black again, and then blue. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Everything is everything. And if for some reason you mount, you mount the, uh, pen tray on the smart board and for some reason when you pick up a pen it doesn't write in your color it may not it may be because it's not connected the wire that connects your computer to your not computer to your if it can, that connects your pen tray to your sensor for the smart board there is a wire under here you, pro you probably won't see it's connected to two there's two look here now as i can see there's two see that wire right there that's connected there's two like looking like ethernet cables that you connect that makes your smart board well communicate with the pen tray so i mean that's pretty much it for the video and i mean i still have one more thing to tell you guys about a sm the smart board so if you ever have a problem where say let's see what was the problem again? right so so you pick up a pen Oh no, what the heck? I don't want to go to Firefox, no thank you. If you pick up a pen, it's black, but then for some reason, it turns out to be red or something when you pick up a black pen. Here's what the problem is. Let's go over to our computer. So you want to go to where it says smart settings. Smart settings is right there. You want to click on smart settings. Then you want to go to where it says smart hardware settings. This is one of the resolvations. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And then where it says black, it may be a different color. As if mine's black, it's good. But yours may be a different color. That's one reason why it would be. And as you can see, mine's selected as black. But to say if someone messed around with settings and put a green, then I would turn out in green. If it was yellow, it would turn out in yellow. I mean, really. So and, and apply that and fix it, and it should be black again. If it isn't, then you have to call smart because I don't know what would be the problem. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed guys and I will be next I'll be back with you guys with another smart board video if you subscribe to my channel guys and before I end this video please subscribe to Noah cool five he needs some subscribers he's growing his channel and if you subscribe to him give it I'm just gonna try if you subscribe to him I'll make one of your nice videos please subscribe to Noah cool five thank you